so I'll give you quick announcements uh, that I have. Um, skip through a few. Bible study every Wednesday night at 645. We're in the sixth chapter of Romans. Uh, come and join us, Bible study, 645. It's rather informal time that we argue with each other, in, but in good <laughs> in a good nature. Uh, you would enjoy it. Uh, okay. <laughs> For a month now, I've been saying that next week's Sunday is going to be a particular uh, topic for next week's Sunday sermon. Okay, this time I've got everything together and I'm going to preach on creation. You, you could be really interested because I'm not going to give just my opinion. I'm going to give several ideas about it uh, of creation. And it's interesting to me. Whether it will be interesting to you or not, I don't know, but it's interesting to me. Okay, we have Bible trivia question every Sunday morning. Last week's question were, how many people were in the ark? And how old was Noah when the flood came? Did you get it? Yeah, we found it. Uh, eight people on the ark, Noah's wife, and three sons and their wives. And uh, Noah was 600. Was what? 600 people? No, I can't. Or 500. No. 600. Yeah, 600. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, I believe you found it. Okay. Uh, okay. You got it. This week, it 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 might uh, puzzle you a little bit on the question for this week that we'll have for the answer next week. Did Jesus speak with an accent? Okay. No. He was from the south. <laughs> <laughs> if you didn't hear that, he said, well, he was from the south. <laughs> I mean, what kind of accent? Okay. If he spoke with an accent. You have to look for it really hard. Kind. <laughs> I know what he's talking about. All right, these are two <laughs> questions. I dig deep for some of these. Uh, uh, yeah, so uh, we'll be calling another work. Saturday work day here in several weeks to come and work around the property. Uh, we've got quite a bit to do. All right, we did something we never do. We ran three or four minutes past. I try to never let you go after 12. But, yes. I have, I, I, have, I, have a, I have a story that uh, I, I was taught from, from the Lord. Okay. Like, that I'd like to share. Do it. No, that's what we do here. <laughs> so when, when I, I was I was in jail uh, for six months just a while ago, and uh, I, was, I was having a really hard time, and uh, I asked the Lord to come into my life, and um, I just asked Him to be there with me, and I asked Him to fill me with the Holy Spirit, and uh, so here's the story. Sure. There's three men. You might have to get up and get up to see this, but there's three men. Two of them are inside a bank, and one of them is outside in the car. The guy outside the car, I mean, they've lived lives of hell. The guy outside the car, he says, Lord, I can't do this no more. I can't live this way. I accept you as my Lord and my Savior. I accept you as my Jesus Christ. Two other guys come out of the bank, guns are blazing, they get in the car and they go to drive off and a bullet comes through the back window, hits the driver in the back of the head, kills him dead. Car rolls to a stop. The other two get out and die in a gun battle. And the driver, all of a sudden, boom, he's in a room of light and there's an angel standing before him. And the angel is holding a key. And the angel goes to the man and he says, this is the key. Don't lose it. Don't ever give it away. Guard it with your life. Okay. So all of a sudden, another man from the car appears. The man says, where are we? The guy says, well, I think we're in heaven. Okay. Says, well, what are you holding there in your hand? 
Angel gave me this key, told me not to lose it, guard it with my life. But forget that. I want that key. That's my key, give it here. And they fight for it. And in the process of fighting for it, the key gets ripped. Jesus stands before the first guy. He says, Who are you, my son? The guy tells him. He says, well, and the guy asks, Well, who are you? The guy asks, My name's, my name's Jesus Christ. I'm your Lord and Savior. Jesus asks the guy, He says, Well, what do you have there in your hands, my son? The guy goes, Sir, this angel gave me this key, and he told me, Don't lose it. Guard it with my life. Keep good, keep it in good, you know, keeping. But you see, I was robbed, sir. Two different times these men came and they robbed me. The key got ripped. It's not whole. I don't think it's good for anything. I, I, I'm sorry, Lord. I, I let you down. I, I didn't do what the, what the angel told me to do. I'm sorry. The Lord says, well, hold on, my son. Why don't you open your key? Because I think that you've been holding in your hands the whole time. The key to heaven. Awesome. Uh, 